morning everyone Lacey here from Forest City Stitching and as I alluded to on my last floss tube I was going to sit down and film a finish parade and as I alluded to I don't particularly like finish parades myself um, which I know is not the norm um, but I thought well you all might want to see some of my finishes especially if you're a newer subscriber um, and then also it will give me a chance to kind of look at what I have here maybe come up with some ideas on how to finish some of this stuff and perhaps um, if you guys have an idea of how I should finish something leave that in the comment box below so this is where I keep my finishes so it's just one of these like paper crafting boxes um, so yeah, let's take a look. Okay. I got some blank paper here, just in case I want to take some notes. I don't know what I'd be taking notes on, but just in case. Um, I don't have anything to really use as a back. Drop. I can use the back of my planner, I guess. It's be a little heavy. So there is an ornament. It is from the um, twenty twenty mystery cell from linen and threads. So the ornaments are kind of a bonus piece. Um, so there's that. stickers in the front cover of the book that we're filling in. Okay, this guy here is an owl from, I think it was also 2020 Sal, um, put on by um, Four Boys and an NL Girl. So from Patty. I think I might have only stitched this one and one other. I don't know if there was three or four in it. Um, I think four all together because I think I can see them in my head. So that little owl is done. Um, I want to say it's like an all dolled up country cottage needleworks, maybe. With a couple beads on them. This was from one of the Christmas magazines. It's supposed to say joy there. Uh, I just kept that off. Um, one of my first uses of fancy floss and then all those beads in that tree. Um, this, <laughs> I haven't folded how I want to finish it, is a bookmark that Karen from KB Studios designed for me, FGTV, um, for my son. So that's finished. I just need to fully finish it into a bookmark. Some bigger pieces. So Happy Halloween by Autumn Lane Stitchery. It was supposed to have a kind of a border on top as well. Um, the fabric is from Fortnite fabric, which you can no longer get. But I do really like that piece. Hello Summer is from the Fat Quarter Shop. It was one of those quarterly bundles. Just on a fork and can't need it with the MC. A Gingham Greetings by Stitch Me with Housewife. This is a Bent Creek. really see-through. So it's using pearl cotton, 18 count over two. Some beads in there. I really like doing that. That was a fun one. So yeah, if I 
see any more of those Bent Creek kits, I'll definitely purchase it. Um, this is from your celebration, so May. So I have like a little sign in my kitchen for me to change the months out. Uh, this has been done for a year. May has passed. I didn't finish it. I even have the fabric. I want to use the backing fabric for it. I don't like finishing things. Quirky Quaker by Darling and Whimsy Design. Little hedgehog. I think I used um, Threadworks for that, I think. Also from Darling Whimsy Design, this was a Stitch North freebie. Yeah, with Brennan Needle, this is the fabric too. But yeah, maybe I should start one of my other Brennan Needle freebies as from my other Stitch. North. I have a whole little plethora of them in my cabinet. Um, this is Shannon Christine, July 1st. Also Fortnite fabric. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat is very dry. This little skeleton guy. He is from one of the Just Cross Stitch Halloween magazines. Bookmark from one of the jo uh, Just Cross Stitch magazines as well. Okay, this is a gift for my mom. Uh, so I need to finish that by Christmas. That was a Plum Street, and I just did it one over one. Now, I have been thinking about this. Um, do I try to frame it myself? Or, because so teeny tiny. Or do I take it and try out? Um, because I see this being in a frame, even though it's so teeny tiny. Um, or do I take it to that framer of Caroline's to try out? I know the framer of Caroline's is the more expensive option, but if it's a Christmas gift for my mummy, maybe it's okay. Um, chicken and hens, is that what it is? Hens and chicks, I don't know. Roosters and, roosters and hens? Um, country cottage needlework again, I believe. Um, this is, uh, I have like a little egg box from Michael's from a number of years ago now. Um, that's how Priscilla from Stitching with the Housewives finished hers on. So I have that. See some things I know how I'm going to finish it. This is the Ukrainian piece from Jacob from Modern Folk Embroidery. There was another border around there, but I left that off. You can tell I don't really like unnecessary borders in my head. What I consider an unnecessary border. Also on Fortnite fabric, this is here. Um, the time is always right to do, the time is always right to do what is right. So the Martin Luther King sampler. That took longer than it needed to, for sure. Um, it was a car piece for a while. Um, this was a freebie from Plum Street. You're supposed to have an alphabet and a whole bunch of other stuff. I detest stitching on this all the time. So I decided just to do the little pumpkin with his coffee. 
this um, was actually a pretty quick stitch for me. Um, this was a piece that Shannon Christine, I think, gave to us for free um, in the Stitching 901 Facebook group. There when um, the queen passed away. I think you can um, buy it still from her Etsy shop. There is a lot of jewels, as you can tell. A lot of crinic, it's very shiny. I picture like a big ornate white frame for that. This um, was the Flossmas piece from a number of oh, 2021. There's a date on it. Um, I don't know if that's the correct date. If it actually, this was a 2021 piece, but that's the date I put in it. Um, from Four Boys and an NL Girl. Um, I did that needle there is actually one of my grandmother's needles. Um, yeah. So that's an ornament. This piece I stitched for my son that I need to finish. This one also took much more time than it needed to. This is a piece um, by Helen, the East Coast Stitcher. Also probably took longer than it needed to, but it's a cute piece. Um, like the words show up really good in person. I think I probably want to finish it with like a darker background, right? Like edging. Probably. Merry Christmas is part of the Holly Jolly Farm collaboration with Priscilla and Hands On Design, the chalkboard kind of series situations. I'm doing the Holly Jolly Farm as well. This is Farm Charm by Stitching with Housewives. Yeah, Stitching with Housewives theme right here. Peep! Stitching with Housewives. This is a freebie for Chelsea's birthday one year. Again, this guy took longer than he needed to. Beach. I do have like a little beach out of a Whoa, what was that? A beach chair. Adirondack. That's what I was trying to say. Um, chair downstairs um, that I can finish that on. I don't know where I really would display it. This guy. He was from a Just Cross Stitch Christmas magazine. And then here's his friend. Um... I don't, it's close to the call for colors, I think, but I might have changed them slightly. But they match. And they have a little bit of the sparkly atoll in them as well. Here are some pumpkin and pinker quilt blog spot freebies. I should take a look at her page to see. She has anything new. This little guy. Some, so clearly these aren't the same count of fabric, but that's okay. Llama Lump by Plum Street. And then Rack Stack by Plum Street. Clearly Rack Stack's a little bit bigger. Oh, and raccoon rumble, rubble. Okay, so what, who's, oh, they're all different sizes. Not one of them is the same size. Hmm. 
Maybe I think Llama Lump is still smaller than Raccoon Apple. Maybe they're the same size. I don't know. Okay, so I got three animal stacks. And I'm working on the Yeti Abominal Bundle, I think. Um, so here's one of the laundry series finished. I'm working on the other two. This was from the Stiach along. First you don't succeed, and then we change the bottom to what we wanted to say. And dust yourself off and try again is what I chose. That was fun. The Stiach along was fun. Summer nights and a bonfire lights. Right, a frosted pumpkin. Berry picking and ice cream licking by frosted pumpkin. This is this is from the frosty forest. So this is the one with the foxes. That's the only one I did. Here is the Hockey Prairie Schooler Santa. I don't know what year he is. Rooster from the Prairie Schooler Santa's Christmas animals. Uh, both of those are in tea dyed fabric that I dyed. You can tell that the one is much darker how it came out. Humble Honey, um, I believe there's a hands-on design piece. Choose Happy, hands-on design. This little bee, I believe, is a prairie schooler bee. Little elephants. I think this is just a free chart from the interwebs. Um, this is from the Fat Quarter Shop. I got Lori Holt bringing home the tree. I think it said bringing home the tree under, underneath, and I just left that off. And then Happy Camper. I think there's another thing of trees underneath that I just left off. Um, I changed the cat look like Arlo. Okay. Is that the bigger one? Oh, we're almost done. Here is my... Is it 2019? Mystery Cell from Linen and Threads, so Fox and Rabbit. There's supposed to be a big butterfly border. I left that off because I wasn't going to stitch all of those butterflies around there. That's with Threadworks. Um... And this piece is a kit. Love you to the moon and back. Now these ones I didn't make. Um, so I don't know if it still is a thing, um, but there was a Stitching Pen Pal Facebook group. And so most of the stuff I received from my pen pal I put into like a little book. Um, kind of like a junk journal like Bendy Stitchy has done. Um, but there's a couple things that I kind of wanted to do something more with, um, but I just haven't decided what that is yet. Um, so she stitched these 
letters, spelling my son's name. And then she had stitched this little B and it's completing a race. I get, is he a bee? Ladybug, I guess. I guess he's a ladybug. Yeah. That's it. So that's the bottom of my under the bed box, they say. Um, yeah. So if anyone has any ideas um, or suggestions on how I should finish some of this stuff, as I said, some of them I have ideas for already. Um, Karen, I'm trying not to fold on the stitches itself. You'll be proud of me. Really trying not to. Um, but yeah, thought everyone might like to see that real quick. And I have a couple, of, yeah, I have a couple ideas for a couple of them. A couple ideas for a couple. So, we'll see. All right, I'll talk to everyone later.